This is the Auburn Football Review with Coach Pat Dye. Brought to you by your Coca-Cola bottler. Coke, you can't beat the feeling. Colonial Bank, you'll like our spirit. Ziegler's, bring home the great taste of Ziegler's to your family. Alpha Insurance, call Alpha. Put your trust in people who care. Golden Flake Snack Foods, one taste and you're stuck on Golden Flake. And by Osmos Pressure Treated Pine, only from Great Southern Wood. If it doesn't say Osmos on the little yellow tag, believe me, you don't want it. And welcome to the Auburn Football Review. Friday, Auburn beat Alabama 15 to 10, third straight win over Auburn's biggest rival. Congratulations to you and your staff and the players, Coach. Well, it's uh, any time you win a game like that, it's uh, the result of a lot of hard work uh, by a lot of people and a lot of total support from the people uh, in and around the program. I, uh, you know, it was, it's, to me, our coaching staff uh, did a tremendous job and has done a tremendous job all year long as, you know, as well as last year. We've got the same staff and Hub Walter does a tremendous job as I train on his staff. John Locke and people there, and our administrative staff makes it so easy for me to do my job. Heinemann Wall and all of the assistant athletic directors and secretaries and, and folks that work behind the scenes. The total support of Dr. Martin and the administration, the board of trustees, making making it possible for us to grow and and, uh, and build the program to where it is today. And then the support of the faculty and the student body on campus. and. All of the Auburn people that, that uh, love and support this football team, and certainly I couldn't leave out Sue and my family for um, putting up with me during football season and around the during the year when and all the know. coaches' wives. <coughs> well, that's right. That's uh, you know they they I think they kind of grow to understand that that uh, they are special people and and uh, they have to make a lot of sacrifices that that the normal wife wouldn't have to make. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go into the dressing room now for some post-game good stuff. It's been a, a very, very, and I can't tell you a, a fulfilling year for me. Rock, I'm, I am so happy. Where you at? You don't, know, you don't know how much it meant to me tonight for you to go out there and play in this football game. And, uh, well, lawyer, lawyer, I'm mighty, I'm, law, I'm mighty happy for you. I'm talking about coming back and, and making the big plays when we, when we needed some big plays today, and I know it's been a frustrating year for you. But you didn't leave any, you didn't leave any question in anybody's mind in America or in the stadium tonight what you are, a, a thoroughbred guy that's going to play in the big games when the chips are down and, and make it happen. And Reggie, the pressure, that, the pressure to come into this football game for the first time and the, and the, and the courage and the, and, and the things that you just played out there tonight mean a lot to everybody in this room. Every one of you. Every one of you. I don't care whether you took a snap or you didn't take a snap. Your, your heart and your soul and your spirit is important. It's important in this, to this football team and to this game that you came here to play today. It seems like I was just here a year ago. <laughs> On behalf of the uh, 10 member institutions of the Southeastern Conference, it's with great pleasure that I declare you co-champions with LSU University. And we've got some special caps to, for the whole team to... <laughs> Congratulations for a great university, a great team, a great staff, a great season, and it's only great champions that come back year after year. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. The people at Colonial Bank are a lot more than hard-working professional folks. Morning, Coach. Ready for the big game? Now, Kathy, how about cashing my check for me? They're your friends who care about you as an individual, about your needs, your goals, and your dreams for the future. Just an idea I had for your offense, Coach. You pull a tackle instead of the guard. Oh, Coach, the guy's 5'11". He weighs 280. He's slow as molasses. Nobody looks after you like Colonial Bank. 
70 degrees. It was a uh, predominantly Alabama crowd, but those uh, 12, 15,000 Auburn folks you were could, loud. Right? Well, you could certainly hear them, and I suspect there was a few Auburn folks that had tickets among those Alabama people that <laughs> some way got a hold of them. But it was a beautiful day for a football game and uh, kind of a mild temperature, and we start off right off the bat with Tracy Rocker sacking David Smith, and David Smith gave a, gave a great performance yesterday. I thought of one that took a lot of courage, and we had great respect coming into the game for him, and, and uh, the entire Alabama football team, for that matter. Uh, we've been there on the field with them before, and you can't appreciate them unless you've been out there and know how hard they play them. First Auburn possession here. Stacy Danley had another great day yesterday. Offensive line, <clears throat> super play right here. Great call by Larry Blakeney and, and Pat Sullivan. They did a, another super job of calling the offense yesterday and hit Stacy on a little slip screen and, and pick up 30 yards. You got to have those big plays against Alabama. You won't get it, take the ball and just drive it on the, on the scores. <clears throat> this is a good call right here. And Reggie's just a little off. Headed for the first down and, and just overthrew him a little bit. And, and uh, when Lyle goes in and kicks the field goal, and just uh, we get off to a good start. First possession, three points. Alabama comes right back, I believe, on this drive and, and goes and gets him three points. Don't That's right. That's and right. <clears throat> right here, Quentin Riggins was playing the, playing the ball in the interception, and he misjudged it a little bit, and, and they hit. Big pull back out there in the flat, and he goes for about 20, 30 yards, and we tackle him. And again, you're going to see Smith does a great job right here throwing the ball to Greg Payne. And, and uh, the way we would start out defending that play, just, you know, they Big just play had here. an advantage. <coughs> this is third Good and play three. right here. They, they had done a great job all year long running the bootlegs, and, and, and we had really worked hard to try to take that away from him, and he's just such an effective short throw and the tight ends are great receivers. They stop them and force the field goal, which was a big, big play. <clears throat> we come back and it doesn't take us long to go up top to Lawyer Tillman and Lawyer's back close to full speed now. I, don't, I still don't think he's 100%, but he's very close. And A fumble stops that drive. Great, great plays. There's Tracy Rocker again, clearly the dominant football player in the, in the nation. I don't say he was the best defensive lineman on the field yesterday as far as production because Ron Stallworth had an all-time day with four sacks Look at a, this. right here in a, a safety that uh, was big in the game. Kind of kept the score out of whack for him all day long. Mm. <coughs> but it was big, and he gave us the ball right back. Reggie's sitting in the pocket. Great protection. What a play. And <coughs> throwing to Freddie Wig in. And, and there's a guy right there that, that certainly hadn't gotten the recognition that he deserves this year. And <coughs> he has quietly had a great, great year and given us just outstanding leadership. Freddie is, uh, uh, hasn't missed a turn from January through spring practice. He's been out there. There's another tough catch in traffic. Boy. Getting sandwiched. And, but Freddie has, has had a great, great year. Had five catches yesterday. And... <coughs> Clutch situations, keep. And uh, he's always he's, been there. He's really had an all-conference type year as a wide receiver, and uh, just has made our football team what it is. Fine play by Wayne Bowsman on kick coverage. <coughs> Ball tipped and batted down by Brian Smith, and, and as we got a bunch of seniors, we're gonna miss next year, Phil. Yeah. Fine class. <laughs> but uh, they're going out in style, and that's what's important. Shane Morris makes a tackle on Lamon Russell. Lamon Russell is a great pass receiver. and does a great job. You'll see later in the game. Fine play. And she could have been intercepted by Smokey right there. This one is intercepted. Lou Smith does a great job. Ball's tipped. And Shane Morris and, and Greg Staples sandwich the receiver, and the ball pops out. And... Quinn Wiggins catches it and stops the touchdown on field goal drive by Alabama. <coughs> you were able to run the football at them for about, what, three quarters? Well, you know, I, I thought we, you know, we ran the ball pretty effectively mm -hmm. most of the day because yeah. Alabama's got a great defensive football team. There's Reggie hitting Freddie again on the key play. Two penalties halted. <coughs> yeah, we, that was, that's been the only hang up this football team all year long with Congress. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, I was asked in a press conference after the game yesterday about this football team that I think it was a great team. And I said, I think we're good as anybody in the nation if we don't go out and get the penalties that, we, that we've gotten this year. And, and I really mean that. I think we play with any football team in the country defensively. Uh, nobody's going to score a lot of points against us, I don't think. And, and offensively, we're balanced enough to where we can move the football and score against anybody that we're going to play. It's 8-3 to three at the half, and we'll be back in just a moment. Coach, this, as you know, has been a great year. Our sponsors have been loyal, very supportive of uh, the uh, football program and the university. And since you didn't bring your glasses, I'm going to read them, then you can say yeah. what you want to say. Uh, the Colonial Bank uh, for many years, Coca-Cola and the Alabama Coca-Cola Bottlers, Alpha Insurance, Great Southern Woods, Jimmy Rains and the Osmos Pressure Treated Pine, uh, the Golden Flake Snack Foods Company, uh, Lackey Stevens and Ziegler's Meats, John Mr. Deere, and all, Mr. Jimmy Hinton, John Deere and all the John Deere dealers in Alabama, and of course the Auburn Alumni Association which sponsors the weekly alumni feature. Well, it makes this show possible and, and, and I think that uh, We've got one of the great shows, post-game shows, I guess, uh, mm -hmm. uh, after the game because of the exposure that the players get themselves. And it's uh, a way that we can communicate with the public. And it goes all over the country. We put it up on satellite and people pick it up all over the United States. What a remarkable year this has been, Pat. Uh, there was the <clears throat> win in Gainesville and a home win against Georgia and now a third straight win in Alabama. Well, what it, a remarkable it, uh, year. Uh, you know, I told a squad in August, and of course we started in January, and you build a team over four or five years, you don't do it in, in one year, but that uh, I knew it was going to be very difficult to repeat as conference champions, and I knew that we had the toughest schedule in the conference of any of the teams that really had a chance to win the conference. But I, I also knew that that could be in our favor if we, if we were good enough, and we were good enough. We didn't win in Baton Rouge, which was it's certainly going to always stick out in our minds as a very disappointing loss. We didn't get outplayed, didn't get out fault, but we didn't win. <clears throat> and uh, the, but the the players gave us tremendous leadership. Our seniors and it's been a very fun football team to coach and and uh, been the easiest team to get ready to play from week to week that I've ever had. Okay, we'll return for the second half in just a moment. They're all over the state of Alabama. Auburn University Vanity Tags, a great way to build a cornerstone for an endowment for talented students. This program is going to help us uh, assist talented students in a meaningful way, regardless of their financial background or capability to go to college. Auburn University Vanity Tags are available at your Alabama County Probate Judge's Office, and they're a great way to share a special spirit. Auburn. I have never found any place where the people have been so open, so welcoming to you. Uh, it's just a, a total spirit that makes Auburn just a totally different place. From 1978 through 1980, Willie Huntley was best known for being an Auburn football player. But now, from his Mobile office, the assistant U.S. District Attorney is using his talents in other areas. I get a lot of satisfaction out of helping people and knowing that I have contributed to making society a little bit safer for everybody else after I've gotten a conviction or settled a criminal case. An Auburn Profile from the Auburn Alumni Association. Great Auburn Band, uh, there was a lot of talk before the uh, game building up about the crowd and would it affect uh, the Auburn uh, team. What do you think? Okay. This football team, we played in Baton Rouge and Gainesville. Well, Gainesville is the toughest place in the conference to play and by far the, the stands are, are further away from the field in Legion Field and Gainesville, they're right on top of you. But mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, the, if, if the kids go out there with a concentration and, and don't hear the crowd, and mm -hmm. if you, your concentration is, is so channeled into what's going on on the field, it may get a little noisy, and you might have a trouble hearing a little bit, but it's still, you're not going to make the mistakes that, that uh, and, and be intimidated by the crowd. Mm -hmm. <coughs> right along here somewhere, I'm not sure. That's, that's the best play of the ball game right there, that interception by, by uh, Greg Staples. <coughs> the, uh, here, you can see, this is a play that they called ready for throwing out of bounds. <laughs> and this, there were several missed calls in the game. So that one right there, one against us. Alabama's got one that goes against them. And uh, they, they were both 
you know, big plays that, that uh, could have had a bearing on the game. Mm -hmm. <coughs> there's a there's a only sack. They gave Alabama a sack when he threw the ball and he ran mm -hmm. out of bounds right there, and, and that shouldn't have been a sack. But uh, right there, uh, Derek Thomas beats the block and, and gets to Reggie. and little man had another great day punting. It was the only time they got to him all day long, which they got to us five or six times last year. And, but our offensive line just was came into the game determined not to let that happen, and they didn't. <coughs> Quentin Riggins had a big day yesterday. I don't know how many tackles Quentin made, but he was around the ball all day. You're going to see Ron Stallworth right there causing a fumble and getting a sack and and had a, uh, just an unbelievable day. He should be the defensive player of the year and uh, of the week in the nation. For Four his sacks play. he had. Yesterday. He comes again right here. This is, looks like the Ron Stallworth show right here. And <laughs> <coughs> got some help from David Rocker there. David played good just then. I was glad to see that. There's pressure from Ron again. This is their next series. Great play by Quentin Riggins. And, but I was glad to see David play yesterday because he's, he means a lot to our football team when he can come in and rotate with Tracy and Ron. <clears throat> Another play by Ron Stallworth. We don't uh, we don't give Benji much rest. He just he says, Coach, I can go, so he goes. <coughs> and there's the classic uh, lawyer Tillman. That was that was a play I think that turned the momentum, Coach. Well, he did, it was a third and nineteen, I believe. Right. He just goes up and got great time in catching the football and going up and getting it, and it was. Uh, Big play when we needed a big play. Stacy Danley takes it down to the 15-yard line. Stacy had another great day running for good blocking up front. <coughs> James Joseph and Rodney Garner and Ed King, Brad Johnson, Jim Thompson, Rob Selby, throwing a bootleg to Freddie out on the one. That was the one that was, was close and probably was out of bounds. But those officials out there, they're human. They're going to make mistakes, and you got to live with the good ones and the bad ones. So. And you can't have instant replay in college football. <laughs> you don't have cameras there. Vincent Harrison, I was so happy for Vincent. Coming back and playing away. There's great pressure by David Rocker in the sack. There's Brian Smith and Tracy cleaning up on him. And there's a guy right there that I've got to be tremendously proud of for the job that he did yesterday. <coughs> I, you know, I've been on the sidelines with a lot of quarterbacks, and you can kind of tell, but he was in total control, never wavered, never bob made a bobble, and and uh, performed uh, uh, tremendously. There's another fine play by Quinn Reed. Quinn catches him, turns him upside down. Alabama had 12 yards rushing. <laughs> I mentioned earlier we're going to miss some of those seniors, Benji Rowland and Ron and Tracy and Brian Smith and Alvin Mitchell and Shan Morris. Carlo Cheatham and Greg Staples, all starting Smokey and starting seniors. <clears throat> I thought that this guy right there gave a, a courageous performance yesterday. Got hit probably the hardest lick in the game when he got hit by Spencer Hammond. <clears throat> Good play by Mangrum, and he might have, might have not got there early. It, it was a call pass interference, and... Gave us the first down. We didn't didn't get anything out of it. And Alabama comes back and makes a big play right here. <coughs> Lamont Russell, when you're going in, that he was a great athlete and a great receiver, and we didn't do a very good job of tackling him. <coughs> we had a miss, busted assignment on coverage right here. And he takes it down to 12, 14-yard line. Here, Smith scrambles. Again, shows you his confidence and, and, and awareness on the field and his great pain in the end zone for the touchdown and Alabama closes within five points and, and uh, with 329 to go certainly a lot of football left to be played the onside kick it here and they kicked it to the wrong guy <laughs> <coughs> James Joseph and lawyer Tillman sitting over there and if, if, if you had to bet your life on one of them getting it then that's who you'd want over there <laughs> right as what a fourth, third down play, third and three Ooh. or four right there, and and uh, that, I was overruled. I didn't want to call that. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Sullivan and Larry Blakeney said, you know, that's play to call, and and I, we we fuss and fight and argue a little bit down there sometimes, but uh, I let 
the you let it I let that <laughs> youth and knowledge and, and being smarter than me overrule uh, at that time, but it was a big play for us. Gave us a first down and allowed us to go ahead and run the clock out. And the final was 15 to 10. We'll return. In a <coughs> We've got uh, we've got some guys that uh, seniors on this year's football team that that uh, are tremendous uh, leaders and team players and uh, have meant so much to our football team over the last five years. Stacy Dunn is a guy that that uh, stands out in my mind that has played every position on the line of scrimmage except center and and is so unselfishly moved around and 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 started from time to time and he's in a rotation with Jim Thompson right now and not playing as much as as he would like to play or as we'd like to play him but you know you get into those things and and uh, but he has been a very very solid guy that's really uh, uh, kind of an inspiration to be around him just because of his attitude Got about 30 seconds coach. <clears throat> Mike Glisson is, is another guy that hadn't played a lot but has been at practice and worked every day Jimmy Clemmer a defensive back from Birmingham has done a great job. Doug Huntley has been inspirational on our, on a sensational job on our specialty teams. Lee Mark Sellers that, that backs up Walter Reeves and plays in our two tight end sets. And, of course, Brian Schumann, our punter, that has done a great job for us. And is a great leader for us on our football team. He certainly is. We've but got a quality bunch of seniors that, uh, that we're going to miss, but I am excited for them in their future because I know what kind of people they are, and they'll make good daddies and good husbands and solid citizens. That's our Auburn football review for this year. Join us next year. Thank you for being such loyal viewers. Coach Dye's apparel is provided by Brooks Brothers at the River Chase Galleria in Birmingham. This has been the Auburn Football Review with Coach Pat Dye. Brought to you by Osmos Pressure Treated Pine, only from Great Southern Wood. If it doesn't say Osmos on the little yellow tag, believe me, you don't want it. Golden Flake Snack Foods. One taste and you're stuck on Golden Flake. Alpha Insurance. Call Alpha. Put your trust in people who care. Ziegler's. Bring home the great taste of Ziegler's to your family. Colonial Bank, you'll like our spirit. And by your Coca-Cola bottler. Coke, you can't beat the feeling. <laughs>